more. If, if I can comment uh, on one of the things we didn't want to do tonight was get into too much detail. Oh, okay. well, one of the first things we wanted to do, as we did with moving the farmer's market permanently to Main Street, was the Main Street businesses had to be uh, polled, see what their feelings were on it. Uh, as far as if there is a potential move, even for one day south of 6th Street, we have yet to contact the businesses in that area, the hospital, any businesses that are open or not open that day, whether it, what type of impact it would have for them. So that's part of our data gathering as well. So uh, we just this afternoon at 3 o'clock um, looked at this being a potential. So we want to look at that and certainly don't want to make the announcement tonight that, hey, this is where it's going. It's still very much up in the air, and we still have to gather a bunch of data. There was a major uh, kind of a brainstorming uh, session going on there. So it was all ideas were welcome, and there were a lot of them shared, uh, including possible uh, relocation uh, uh, okay. places. So not n there's nothing formalized, and that's what this is about process <coughs> for this year as well as how we can be more inclusive um, in future years for this. Dan? Yeah, I was going to ask when does the football schedule come out I mean it seems to me that we knew about this back in April or, or May about the time that we sent out the mm -hmm. the um, information for the farmers market to the vendors so it would seem to me that we ought to be able to get ahead of this a little of course this is the first year that we've had to deal with this other than last year but last year was kind of an experiment so it didn't really count but um, I would I would hope that no matter what, we, we're pretty much got an idea that the U of I is going to have their homecoming parade sometime during the market season. So I think that I would hope that we could maybe this year come up with the plan that will just follow with following years. Um, and per, if, if the vendors have such a poor uh, day, may, maybe that's the day that you don't have farmer's market for one week out of the the year and, and we could extend it one weekend one side or the other to, to compensate for it i don't know i mean those are i'm more of the mind that you know this is at least we're a month ahead of when it's supposed to happen instead of next week but it seems to me we could get about six eight months ahead of when this happens because of when the schedule does come out Gary, being a farmer, probably has a response for you about skipping a week. Gary? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was discussed with, at the Farmer's Market Commission, and, and um, we have Aaron and Gina here, the leadership of that commission, and Kathleen. Uh, that's up to the farmer, of course, right. but there are farmers who that is a big time for them, and uh, we don't want to take away that opportunity unless that's the consensus that it just doesn't make sense to them. Um, as far as the scheduling, you're exactly right. And there was a discussion at the Market Commission as how set in stone is the University of Idaho schedule. Is there a chance to move that game back to accommodate the market, then have the homecoming parade? Those are all issues that will be discussed in the future, and there may be some flexibility there, certainly not this year. Again, as far as, yes, we knew about this schedule, I think, in February or March. Um, Again, as a staff-driven process on the issuance of parade permits, it's just a miss as to um, were we going to do the same thing as last year, that sort of thing. The Farmers Market Commission, I thought, did a fine job of bringing it up and discussing it, and we thought we were following the appropriate process. Obviously, there is more at stake here than just the flat issuance of a permit if you meet all the safety issues. So. Uh, again, we've learned something, and we're hoping to move ahead with that, but my suspicion is is that this will be vetted out completely and exhaustively before it comes again next year. And if I may as well, the Farmers Market Commission's mission is to make recommendations to the City Council. Uh, staff should have brought it to them earlier than we did. Uh, they did make a recommendation last week, and uh, in the future that will be formalized, and, and this issue hopefully will be resolved before the farmer's market ever opens up. Walter? Thank you, ma'am. I, I don't want to take full credit, but I was part of the reason why this thing kind of blew up a little bit. Um, I understand staff's position that it's a parade permit, and staff reviews, adjusts, and or approves, denies and or approves parade permits. <clears throat> My sensitivity to it was the fact that 
the farmer's market on Main Street was done by council. We made that decision in the face of a fair amount of vendor and, and a small amount of Main Street merchant opposition. We did it because we had moved the market to Main Street to do work in the Jackson Street parking lot, and the public and the customers <coughs> loved it. Uh, I remember making a comment when we, the night that we made the motion to move it to Main Street permanently that we hardly ever had anything where we had 86% written approval of what we were either going to do or had done. And that was what the survey had shown, if I remember the numbers correctly. Kathleen says my numbers are good. Um, so we did it because the customers of the market really liked it. The vendors weren't thrilled. I think they're either getting used to it or finding out it's actually working. I'm not sure which now, but anyway, it's, it's, it's working. So I was just very concerned that it didn't come back to council or get vetted more broadly among the farmer's market vendors and the U of I homecoming parade people and so forth before just the decision was made. The homecoming parade is going to be on Main Street and the farmer's market is going to Jackson Street parking lot. End of story. So we've got it, got it working now. I'm very pleased with where we are. We've got a tight time frame, like Dan says. The parade's not Saturday. It's down the road a few weeks. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to working it out wherever they end up, and hopefully uh, whether it ends up where the vendors would like it uh, in terms of the market. And it is not, it, it's going to be moved off of Main Street. Parade's going to be on Main Street. Market's going to be moved. Hopefully it will be moved to where they can handle it. It will work for them to as good a degree as possible. Um, I would make a motion, Mayor, that we confirm the staff's issuance and ITD's approval of the 2013 University of Idaho Homecoming Parade permit application to use Main Street uh, and determine a temporary one-day location place for the Moscow's Farmers Market on September 28 of 2013. Second. Walter's Second. Okay. Uh, motion was that Tom's that I heard first? Probably. No. And the echo oh. of Tim. Is that yeah, I think that's yeah. what you heard. <laughs> Walter's motion, Tom's <laughs> second. Okay. And, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm glad that this was an inclusive process, uh, more inclusive today as it should have been from the outset. Wayne. So then I can partially blog, blame Walter why we're having this discussion tonight. Then. <laughs> you said so. He said no, I just, I, I just, I just, it, Thank you. I just comment that it seemed like the decision was made. Everybody, for the most part, everybody was happy with the decision. I'm really not sure why it needed to come to us for this discussion. This is why we have the Farmers Market Advisory Commission or Farmers Market Commission, and they handled it. It, it went well. I see our, our role here is one of making a decision if the parties can't come together. They came together. So I don't see why we have to even okay it. They're doing it. We know the University of Idaho is going to go down Main Street. I mean, if that had happened, if, if then we would have had a big issue, and then I can see where it really would have had to come to council. So I'm just saying that it's good to have this discussion, and that's fine. But I, I don't want the the Farmers Market Commission to think that they have to come with us with every decision that they make. If there's, if, if there's an issue with it and there's some unhappy people, then we have to pay the, play the parental role of making the decision of saying, okay, we'll decide what's going to happen. But that's why we have these commissions. And I think they did a great job on this. So maybe it was just today where it all came together, but my understanding is even the last week the decision had pretty much already been made. So anyway, I'm for it, obviously. So Wayne, uh, our commissions are advisory to the city council. Uh, staff has the authority to issue parade permits, as Walter indicated, but in this case it was the writing was on the wall from the outset from more than a year ago that this would be controversial, and that's why it ought to have some. I also want to mention that staff had approved the permit before the, the Farmers Market Commission voted on this, and they'd had some discussion, and they did not come to consensus, and there was some dissent within the own, their commission. In addition, the uh, University of Idaho Alumni Association uh, Parade Organiz Organizing Committee had some disconnects in communication as well. So the point 
of today's meeting was to say, let's have the all the representatives from the farmers market, well, representatives from the farmers market commission, representatives from the University of Idaho, representatives from the city of Moscow, come together so we can build consensus and build a better process for the future that's more inclusive of everyone, including the market vendors who make their livelihood in this way. It was yeah, just that was done earlier today, right? It, it was, and it was just preparatory to today. And I think there's some wonderful ideas that came out of that, and I'm so appreciative of what Mayor, Tim I'm not, I'm did. I'm not arguing no. tiny, even a little bit. I think this is fantastic. Yeah. I'm just saying that I don't think the council needed to spend any time on it. Okay. And I think it was a done deal. You guys did a great job. And two, Tom? Two, two reasons why the council needs to spend time on it. One is the Farmer's Market Commission is only advisory to the to the city council so we you know are taking their advice and following their suggestion um, and the second thing is that at some point because the, the farmers market um, has been codified by this body uh, for that one day we're probably going to have to recodify the mm -hmm. temporary the location exception. the exception so when that happens it'll probably come back to us so I think it's important for us to, you know, be involved, even if it seems clunky mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah, Walter. And, and Wayne, the fact that the three vendor reps on the commission abstained from the vote. They didn't yeah. vote yay, they didn't, didn't vote nay, which told me that, didn't tell me anything actually. I wish they voted one way or the yeah, other. didn't tell you anything. Right, so for that reason, I thought it was, I think Tom said it very well, that, that the, the decision rests with the council regarding the market. We put it on Main Street. It's being moved off Main Street. I think it needs to come back to the council. You know, and that's just fine. I mean, and I can be the minority, and I can disagree. I, and I disagree with you, Tom, and I don't think it needed to come before council because everybody was happy, and it was smooth, and it happened, and you guys had a great meeting today, and all the parties came together on it. Okay. Other discussion before voting? Okay. We have a motion and a second for this. So, uh, Tim, go, we'll start with you. Go Vandals. <laughs> I, 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 oh, sure. Aye. Okay, and Tim, that's an aye? That's an aye. There you go. Yes, it's unanimous. Uh, that motion carries. Thank you. And thanks all who participated in this. It was not uh, always a comfortable conversation, but I think it was an important one to have for such two uh, fondly <coughs> regarded traditions in Moscow. So we appreciate the representatives who are here tonight from Moscow Farmers Market Commission as well and from our Chamber of Commerce.